What's up guys, I'm Vincent from RaspberryTech.com and today I'm really excited. Now the reason I'm really excited is because today is part one of our Raspberry Pi mineral oil build. Now I did a preview to this build. A lot of you guys love this idea. I thought this idea was awesome. Uh, I, I know uh, in the past we've done a lot of Raspberry Pi stuff, especially Raspberry Pi cluster computers. So I figured why not take this to the next level? Why not build a Raspberry Pi cluster computer submerged in mineral oil in a aquarium? All right, so in this video, we're actually going to uh, get everything in the tank. We're gonna test everything out. And in part two, uh, we're probably gonna fill it up with mineral oil and then we're gonna set up the cooling. I got a radiator, I got a brand new uh, CPU pump, and uh, I'm really excited to get this thing to work. So can't wait to get this project started. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so this is all the stuff we're gonna need for this build. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to need is this aquarium or fish tank. This is a gallon fish tank. I got this off of Amazon. It's really cheap. Links will be in the description. You're also going to need some Raspberry Pis. I got a Raspberry Pi cluster here. And uh, again, the links to the Raspberry Pi and how I got this case set up is in the description as well. You're also going to need a power supply. Now, I need to show you guys uh, this power supply in the preview because I didn't have it and uh, I didn't think I was going to need it but uh, with all the electronic parts that's going to go into this uh, aquarium especially especially the fans and the pump and everything I needed a power supply so this is a cheap 250 watt power supply a very small one I found the smallest one you could find I'll leave a link to this power supply in the description as well uh, you're going to need a water pump right this is a CPU water pump and uh, this is uh, better than the one I had in the preview uh, this is meant for uh, CPUs, so the way it works, uh, you, the CPU pump will pump uh, the water from the tank. It'll pump it into this radiator. We're gonna need a radiator. We're not gonna uh, set up this radiator in this video, but we will need the radiator. It pumps the water through the radiator, and a fan is going to cool the radiator while all the liquid's in here. Then another uh, uh, tube will uh, run right back into the tank and uh, it'll keep cycling that way until the liquid is cool. You're gonna need a radiator. I found this radiator in uh, Amazon really cheap. Um, you're gonna need a fan for the radiator. I got this radiator off of Amazon. Again, links will be in the description. And you will need some acrylic tubing. I got 10 feet of this acrylic tubing, really cheap. Probably for like 10 bucks. Links will be in the description. The tubing will connect everything to the tank. Now, also you will need uh, gravel. And you're not gonna need the gravel, but to make this look like authentic fish tank, you should get gravel. I got this off Amazon, really cheap. And I got some decorative things for the tank to make it look like an actual tank. Some colorful things like this. And some more colorful decorative things like that. And uh, finally, you're gonna need the actual mineral oil. I got a gallon of it from Amazon for, for like 20 something bucks, really cheap. Now, mineral oil is hard to find. You can find small amounts of it in like drugstores. They sell small bottles. But uh, I went from Amazon, got the gallon for like 20 something bucks, and it will fit perfectly in this aquarium. Again, links to all the stuff will be in the description. All right, let's start by actually opening up the aquarium here. Let's just put everything else aside. I'm gonna push everything else over, and let's check out this fish tank. All right, so this is the fish tank here, and let's open up the box. This is a pretty cheap fish tank. I think I got it for like 20 something bucks. Only a gallon. I was going to go with originally with a five gallon one, but I figured, you know, that there's no need. This is only a cluster of Raspberry Pis. We're not building a full computer. So if you were building a full computer or putting a full computer in a fish tank, then a five gallon would be perfect. But for what we're doing, a one gallon should be enough. So this is the actual fish tank. Let's just throw, let's just throw this box aside. I think you got like manuals and stuff like that. We'll figure all that stuff out later on. And okay, so this is the actual tank. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that everything's going to fit in this tank. So let's ch test out the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will fit in here perfectly. And next thing we're going to need to make sure that it will fit in the tank is the actual power supply. So let's open up the power supply here. So I'm going to put this tank aside. I'm gonna use my unboxing knife here. Let's just open this up. And this is a 250 watt power supply, so it's small and it should work. Hopefully, it will fit. Let's 
Let's open this up. Let's throw this aside. All right, so this is the actual power supply. It's the smallest power supply I found. What I think I'm going to do is remove as much of this chassis as possible. So it, it'll fit uh, snug inside that fish tank. So, but let's just test it out right now. Does it fit? Let's find out. Actually, it does fit, but does it fit with the Raspberry Pis? Uh, not so much. <laughs> After we lay this, all right, so it will fit, but it will not fit with the Raspberry Pis. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to remove this chassis here. I'm gonna use my Phillips screwdriver here, and we're going to open this case up. All right, so we got the case off of our power supply. Uh, let's see if it'll fit here inside the, this aquarium. So what I'm probably going to do is just cut out the fan. We're not going to need the fan. So I'll cut it out. I'm going to, uh, I guess, place this like so in the corner. And uh, see if I can fit my Raspberry Pi cluster like so. So this is the way I'm probably going to set this up. I'm going to put this in like so. Put our Raspberry Pi cluster in here. Okay? And I want to have access to uh, all the ports here. So what I'll do is, I'll try to keep this up like this. So when the aquarium is full, it'll, uh, I'll still have access to all the ports up top of here. And um, the power supply is still in there. And uh, I'm gonna cut out this fan here. And I don't think I'm gonna fit a lot of this decorative stuff in here because this is pretty tight. I will fill it up with gravel and uh, maybe I could get one of those or two of those plants in here. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is just fill it up with a little bit of gravel. I get my handy dandy on the box knife here. I'm gonna just cut a little bit of a slit here. I don't want this stuff to go everywhere. And I'm not gonna fill it up with a lot, maybe an inch or two in there. Then I'm gonna try to even it up. See if this fits. Try to make this fit in here. All right, so this part, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep bending this metal part here until it breaks. All right, guys, so there are gonna be a few changes to this build. One, I can't uh, fit a full Raspberry Pi cluster in here. Maybe I'll do another video with the cluster, but I will. Uh, switch it up for this new Raspberry Pi 2. This is the newest Raspberry Pi that's out and uh, It's already loaded with Raspbian and um, So yeah, this, this build is going to just be a single Raspberry Pi 2 instead of a cluster of B pluses So I want to see if this works if this works I'll probably do another video with a bigger tank with a cluster of Raspberry Pis and then also try to fit like ant miners and stuff like that in, in the build. So for this uh, specific build, I'm changing it up to only one Raspberry Pi 2 instead of a cluster of Raspberry Pi B+. You can see I ripped off the bottom plate of this power supply so it fits in here. I removed the top and bottom plate. Uh, I have all the wires hanging out uh, to the back here and uh, it should fit the Raspberry Pi in here pretty snug. So, I, And I also think I could fit some of these decorative plants in here as well. So I'm going to test them out. So in this video, we're actually going to fill this up. And we're going to test this out. And part two, we're going to water cool it. So again, a little bit of a change of plan. But uh, I think it's for the best. And I think you guys will still like it. So let's finish it up. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do now is just connect all the cables that we need to connect to the Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to loop them around here. The first cable that I want to connect is uh, this power cable for the Raspberry Pi. This is what's actually going to power the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to connect it right here. Now we need to connect the Ethernet cable. So I have a yellow Ethernet cable here. And let's just connect it to right here. And now I also want to connect uh, this uh, USB extender cable. You just connect it to the USB port of the Raspberry Pi and it'll extend the USB port. So I don't have to take out the Raspberry Pi if I want to connect something new to it. I just have to connect it to this port here and we're good to go. 
And I also have connected to the Raspberry Pi micro SD card with uh, Raspbian already loaded. So let's just see how we're going to connect this right now. Let's drop this down here. The cables are going to need to hang. And I think that's pretty good right here. And I'm just going to loop this cable around back here. And we should be good. So now, now we're going to actually fill it up with mineral oil. So let's, let's fill it up with mineral oil and see what happens. Got the mineral here. And I'm gonna pop this top open. And I'm gonna do this slow so I don't make a mess because mineral oil is very messy if it gets on anything. So let's go. All right guys, so this is how it looks like when it's filled up with mineral oil. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi is in the back. I have the fan here, I have the power supply here. In the next video, we're actually gonna power this up to see if it works, and uh, we're gonna set up our cooling. I have the radiator, I have the pump, I have the fan, and I have all the tubing we need to cool this tank down. So that's pretty much it. All right guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmoreTech.com and thank you for watching.